So here I was all ready to spend this week talking about the LGBTQIA community when Donald Trump declared war on the planet. So from the day that he stepped into office, Donald Trump has been declaring war on vulnerable communities across the country, including his Muslim ban, including his crackdown on immigration, building a wall, plans to dismantle the government agencies that protect our food, air, and water. So in his recent speech before Congress, Trump managed to take on a tone that was much more like a traditional politician. For some, this may be a sign that the worst days are over. Don't be fooled. Trump plans to deliver a budget to Congress where he is going to be asking for a 54 Four billion dollar increase in military spending. A 54 billion dollar increase. The US military budget is already somewhere around 550 billion dollars. The US has the largest military budget in the world. The US military budget is equal to the next seven highest budgets in the world combined. You take the US as first, then you count down the next seven countries and their military budgets. You put all of those military budgets together and you get the US's military budget. This is completely unacceptable. We already know from the incremental increases in military spending since the September 11th attacks in 2001, we have not seen a safer planet. If anything, we've seen a rise in terrorism around the globe. And now we're seeing a rise in terrorism from within our borders, from people who look like us. I'm gonna keep this short and sweet. Don't take it from me, simply review the undisputed news sources from the past week and a half to see what Trump's plans are for his budget. Budget. See for yourself how he plans to use his cabinet picks to dismantle the agencies that keep us safe, that protect our food, water, and air. And once you're satisfied you have a clear enough picture for yourself, get on the phone and call your congressperson and tell them no. Tell them that you don't want to see cuts to the State Department that provides the diplomacy that we so desperately need. Tell them that you don't want to see increased U.S. militarization, which by the way will lead to increased state and municipal militarization. Where do you think all that old used military equipment goes when the federal government is done with it. If the U.S. is prepared to spend $600 billion, that's U.S. citizens' tax dollars, by the way, on expanding the military, perhaps there are a few other things that they can increase spending on. Perhaps on the immediate implementation of a national green energy infrastructure. That would include making renewable clean energy available and affordable to everyone. That would include allowing people to trade in their old fuel guzzling cars for hybrid cars. That would include renewable energy generators in every household. All public buildings off grid starting today. All businesses implementing green renewable solutions starting today. And if a business can't afford it, provide them with some low interest loans. Or maybe just pay for that shit. How about providing some quality universal health care? How about including quality universal education up to and including terminal degrees? You know, like making it possible to become a doctor for free? Or, you know, making it possible to become a scientist for free? How about making training in renewable energy industries free or even paid? How about making it so the people who are currently working in the coal industry, people who likely feel the most threatened for fear of losing their jobs, why not create some programs so that these people can actually be paid to be trained to do things like install solar panels and build wind turbines? We have to stop waiting for these people to tell us when they're ready and tell them that we want it right now. They can send out the RFPs today. There are brilliant minds all over the country, all over the world who have been telling us the way. It's time that we listen to them and give them the funding and the support that they need if we want to truly have a sustainable future. We need a world where everyone can feel safe, regardless of your religion, regardless of your citizen status, regardless of your race, your gender, your age, your ability, regardless of what species you are. None of us is going to feel safe on a planet in climate crisis regardless of how big the military is. So get on the phone with your politicians today. Tell them no to increased military spending. Demand the immediate implementation of green renewable solutions across the nation. Now we return you to your regularly scheduled programming. That's it for this video. Like it if you like it. Share, comment, subscribe. This is Reg signing off. Love yourself. Peace. And I love myself the way I